All right, guys, so here's the review of the San Martin SN0123G. So as far as I know, this is one of their more original designs. If you do know it's an homage or anything else, though, do let me know down in the comments. So as you can see, we've got something pretty different here. So the first thing you'll probably notice is the fact that we've got a larger side of the case on the right-hand side where the crown is, because we've got the integrated crown guards. So it just gives it a pretty unique shape, and also underneath as well. So the way the case is shaped, it's kind of sculpted underneath. This does help it conform to rest quite nicely. So before we go over anything else, let's go over the dimensions first. So we've got a diameter of 44mm, including that integrated crown. Thickness is coming in at 151 but bear in mind, as I said, we have actually got that sculpted underneath of the case. Then when it comes to the lug width, we've got 20mm, so if you don't want to wear it on this NATO strap, you can swap it out easily. No odd sizes there. Then the all-important lug to lug is coming in at 498 which is under that important 50mm for my 7-inch wrist. So in terms of weight, we've got 117 grams on this supplied strap. So I'll quickly show you this in a bit more detail now. So we've got the bead blasted hardware on this, matching the case. And we've actually got it signed as well, with the San Martin branding on there. And it is nicely sculpted too. And as I say, it matches the hardware finishing on the case, which I do appreciate, because that isn't always the case with our Express watches. So here's the side profile, and you can see we've got a really nice bead blasted finishing on that as well. And I do really like the way the crystal kind of flows into the bezel. Just really smooth, clean line. No steps or anything. It's just a really sleek looking piece, despite it being fairly chunky, especially with the way they've sculpted the case as well. So now let's get a zoom in on the dial and talk about that in a bit more detail. So you can see we've got a fully printed dial, nothing applied. So printed indices, logo and text at the bottom with that 200 meter water resistance and automatic. All nicely done, no issues at all. And then when it comes to that handset, got a really nice proportion on them as well, a nicely polished finish, so they do catch the light a bit. When it comes to that crown, you can see we've got unsigned crown there. And you can also see that the side of the bezel is also bee blasted to match the rest of the watch. But the actual insert is ceramic. So you'll get a little bit of light play from that as well. Which again, it's just an added little bit of detail, a bit of contrast compared to what is a fairly flat dial. So seeing as we're talking about it, let's show you this bezel in action. So it's 120 click and ceramic as I've already said. So it's a really nice clicky action when it comes to play. There's absolutely zero play, so that's good to see too. Pretty much what you expect from San Martin. Bezels, no issues at all. When it comes to the alignment, that's also spot on. So again, absolutely zero issues here. So now, let's check out whether we've got Sapphire Crystal on this. Using the trusty Diamond Slides too. And yep, we have got Sapphire Crystal. So again, always good to see. Especially with it being that nice curved one as well. So now, let's check out what the loom's like, with it being a fully printed dial. So you can see we've got a good amount of loom there already, but let's charge it up, give it a proper chance. And there we go. So, as you can see, we've got a really good amount of loom on this. So we've actually got BGW9. Although it is kind of coming up slightly green on camera, it is slightly more blue in actual reality. And I have to admit, I was really surprised with this when I first charged it up. You'd think it was actually applied indices on there, because there is so much loom, at least initially. You wouldn't think it was a fully printed dial at all. Really impressive the amount they've got on there, with it being just printed. No patchiness at all either, consistent across the hands and the indices. And we've also got that loomed bezel too. Obviously there isn't quite as much on the bezel because there's just not as much surface area. But we have got a good amount on that loom pip as well. So in terms of the longevity of the loom, yeah it's not going to be competing with the San Martin watches that have applied indices. But it's not as far off as you'd expect. Really impressive for a fully printed dial. So now let's show you this movement in action. So as you probably guessed it's the NH35. So unscrew the screw, which is easy to access despite it being integrated. Pop it out to the first position. And we have got a ghost date as it is the NH35, so you will hear it ticking over if you have it in that position. So you have to pull it out to the second one, then you'll see the second hand stop, so we've got hacking. Obviously just change the time then. Pop it back in, second hand re-engages, and then hand winding. All works well, no issues at all. And again, the crown is easy to screw back down, despite it being integrated into the case. 
you've got enough clearance on the top and the bottom to be able to grab it easily but it just doesn't protrude out on the side as much so it does look good and it is functional too that's the thing with this watch and it's the little attention to detail that do make it stand out because otherwise it is a fairly plain watch so now i'll show you what it's like on wrist and then we'll wrap this up and here's what it looks like on my seven inch wrist so with that lug to lug being under 50 mil it is right on the limit of what i'd be wearing personally but as you can see it doesn't wear as thick as you'd think because we've got that sculpted case so the case back kind of sits down into your wrist so it does help it wear smaller than you would think it would be in terms of the strap i wear the bulk underneath this is just the way i wear nato straps when i wear them i'm not a fan of them being on the side I just think it balances out the watch a bit better and looks a bit cleaner but obviously if you're not a fan of nato straps you can swap this out easily enough with it being 20 mil i think this would probably look quite good on a rubber strap or something like that maybe so overall i do quite like this watch it's definitely something a little bit different i love the bead blasted finish on the case and all on the hardware and that interesting case shape as well with that integrated crown just adds something a little bit different and i do really like the way the crystal and the bezel just curve into each other and integrate really nicely really nice transition between the two it's just the attention to detail with this watch that makes all the difference as i said earlier just the little touches that just make it stand out show the quality so if you're interested in picking one of these up link will be down in the description as always but that's it for this one guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one